And now, coming to you from the Pensado Media Center, powered by Westlake Pro. A report from Tokyo, Japan. Come meet a super hot hit maker, and we've got another winner. You're at the place. It's Pensado's place. Hey guys, glad to have you here at my studio. Always good to see you. And as always, a lot of things going on. Herb, catch us up, buddy. As Dave said, it is great to see you. And it's also great to have our sponsors, the wonderful 1500 or Nothing, the Blackbird Academy, Westlake Pro, Avid, Nam, Groove 3, and Warm Audio. Thank you for your support. The IK Multimedia Contest is going absolutely great. We've got another week this week of Total Studio 2, and we're going to announce the winner right now. So who is this week's winner? Man, Bruce Rainier. Congratulations, Bruce. Well done, man. Well done. Yeah. Um, now, Bruce has won Total Studio 2, and it heats up even more with Total Studio Max. Got two weeks to get those emails in. Go to bit.ly forward slash IK Spring 2018 bit.ly forward slash IK Spring 2018. Go right now. Get it done. You can win. A couple of dates you should mark on your calendar. First one is May 19th. Super hot producer James Fauntleroy, uh, producer and songwriter. Everybody goes to him. Hits with Bruno Mars, Rihanna, Justin Timberlake, was one of the co-writers of the record of the year, song of the year, on and on and on. James is brilliant and funny. He's going to be at Imsta Festa, which is at the SAELA campus, May 19th. I'm lucky enough to be able to moderate it. You want to come. It's a free event. You can go to imsta.org for the, for the information. Again, May 19th. I think it's somewhere around noon, but you'll see it at imsta.org. James Fauntleroy, you'll learn, you'll laugh, you'll network. You want to be there. Be there. Second date is May 5th. Uh, one of the originators of G-Funk, along with Dr. Dre, a guy named Colin Wolf, will be at the 1500 Sound Academy with his bass, laying out how he created that sound, going through the track production, song structure, all kinds of stuff. If you go to 1500sound.academy, 1500sound.academy, you can get all the details there. That's May 5th for Colin Wolf. For all those folks who want to know about G-Funk and those who may not want to know, you're going to learn something new. Dave wants to know. Um, the Academy has a lot going on. You can see right here, lots of activity, lots of students. Um, I go down for all the workshops, and you never know who's going to show up. Super hot people, famous folks. Uh, there's some names that I, I'm actually embargoed from mentioning when I tell you some big folks come down. So a couple things happen at these workshops. Shops. One is you learn a lot, but your networking will be off the chain. You're going to meet people, make contacts, things that will be good not only for your education, for your career. So May 5th, Colin Wolf down at 1500 Sound Academy, and May 19th, James Fauntleroy at Imsta Festa, SAELA campus, and we'll see you there. Dave, what do we have this week? Well, Chango went to Tokyo, as you know, and brought us back some footage from Audio Technica. A lot of cool stuff, great studio, a lot of new pieces of equipment. Check it out. Hey guys, Chongo from Pensado's Place here. We're in beautiful downtown Tokyo visiting the one, the only, Audio Technica house. We're gonna meet our friend David Walter who's gonna show us all the inside scoop for what they have to offer. Let's go. David. Hello. Chongo, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. How are you, my friend? I'm good, I'm good. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to Technica House. Thank you for having us. Yeah, no problem. Shall let's, we go? Let's go yeah, inside? Let's, go inside. let's do it. Yeah. Wow. David, this place yeah, welcome is... Welcome to Technica House. This place is incredible. This oh, place thank is... you so much. What are, what are we going to see today? Today we will see the studio of Audio Technica, which is called Astro Studio, and uh, I will show you some old... Uh, Vintage gear? <laughs> that, that as well. And some old products from Audio Technica, and yeah, have you look at around to the whole building. Eh? I love it, and I, and I heard there's a, there's a surprise at the end also, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I have a surprise for you. Let's do it. <laughs> 
Astro Studio. Can you tell me a yeah. little more about it? So the Astro Studio, it's here based in the first floor of the Technica house. And this studio is uh, mainly used for testing microphones, also R&D. Nice. And we also uh, sometimes provide it to some uh, friends of us, also arti artists, who, Japanese artists who want nice. to do like a rehearsal or recording. You know? I think we should take the viewers in, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. After you. Wow. What do we have here? This is impressive. Yeah, uh, that's the control room of the Astro Studio and we have a Amec Media 51 console. Nice, nice. And you were saying earlier it's made with, with Neve Pre's and Neve yeah, EQ's? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, also a Neve design. Uh, uh, that's incredible. And you guys do recording here, stereo and 5.1? We, we do also like uh, record, uh, test recordings in 5.1 as well. Oh, that's amazing. Tell us a little, a little bit about the outboard gear we have here. Yeah, uh, we have two uh, Focusrite ISA110. Nice. Then we have an Amic 9098 uh, compressor, then standard Neve uh, 33609, then uh, Summit. Uh, yeah, the Summit Audio, the, the DCL200. Yes. No, nice compressor, I love that one. And for sure, uh, uh, 1176. You can't go wrong with 1176. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a go-to. Yeah. I add. God. Yeah, that's the main recording room. Yeah? It's um, mainly used for, so we test here mainly microphones, mm -hmm. our microphones, and uh, compare them like to competitor microphones yeah. or so, like that make sure that our microphone sounds good as well. We have uh, acoustic panels here, we can make it a little bit more lively in oh, wow. When we turn these uh, panels, we can make the reverberation time like 0.2 milliseconds uh, longer. Nice. Mm. Like this, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. What are the typical setups in here? Here is a lot of instrument recording. Yeah? I have a lot of drum recording uh, and for sure like uh, jazz ensembles. Nice. Like, oh, like the piano we see there. That's gorgeous. The, yeah. I love the fact that you can pull the curtains and also yeah, control the I sound. Yeah, I can show you how you oh, pull let's the see curtains. That. Yeah. So you see. So you can make it more dead, huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. The size of this room is uh, 65 square meters. For the Americans, Google it. <laughs> and the uh, ceiling is about six meters high. Wow. And so the reverberation time of this room is about 3.3 millisec at 1K. Wow. And yeah, it's Pretty dead. It's a pretty dead room, yeah. So because we mainly use this one for microphone testing, mm -hmm. and that was also the goal when we built the oh, nice. studio. So it's purpose, purpose mm -hmm. built for, for for testing, but you can also do recording yes. here as well. And and to and to go from 0.3 milliseconds at 1k to going to 0.5 milliseconds yeah. at 1k, um, these have to be open and these all have to be flipped. Yes. Yes. Nice. Nice. That's incredible. You're right. And we have the gobos here to do any kind of recording we need. Yeah. I see you got some great sight lines here, and there's also another room up there. What's what's that room for? Yeah, that's just a, a room to hang out, you know, for the artists or customers who come here. I think you also said there's a great mic selection here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Can we go take a look at them? Yeah, Back for sure. Here. Let's go. And here we have uh, our microphone collection. Uh, in uh, humidity control lockers. Nice. That's you know, amazing. because in uh, Japan in summer it it's can bad. get very, it's really very humid. humid. So it's really humid. Let me show you, you know, standard uh, Audio Technica microphones like uh, the 4050. Oh, yeah, these are. I've used these for drum overheads before, and they mm. are they're phenomenal for yeah. that. They get they get those symbols and everything so well. Mm. That's a 4060 tube microphone. Gorgeous microphone. Here, you know, we have also the 5080, a ribbon, mi our ribbon microphone. Yep. Solid microphone. We have also, for sure, our new the 5040. The, it has four elements in it. Four, four elements. Four condenser elements, yes. And they are summed together. So you can use all four of the elements for, in one recording? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, like the four elements build. Uh, like they sum into one. A one, well, yeah. Oh, that's incredible. One unit. So uh, standard uh, uh, cardioid pattern. 
We also have the, another 50, 50, 45. I think uh, Dave uh, did a Dave, show about it. Yeah, they, you know. yeah Dave, Dave yeah. talked a little bit about those. Those are mm. great mics. These, these would be better suited for guitars and yeah. like smaller instruments, right? But also for drum overheads, Dave. Oh, really? Uh, lately, I, I just use these microphones for drum overheads. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. I haven't tried those for drum overheads yet, but I think I'll have to soon. Yeah, think I'll please to try. Soon. They are really <laughs> nice. A U47, huh? Ooh. Holy Grail microphone right That's there. That's a Holy Grail, yeah. A C12. Ooh. I was at uh, Blackbird Studios in Nashville, mm. and John McBride has a dual capsule C12, and he likes to play a joke yeah. where he throws you the microphone and you have to catch it. Mm. <laughs> and it's, your, your heart hits the floor. <laughs> oh my god. He has an M49, huh? For those of you that don't know about the M49, do a little bit of research and then feel free to be blown away. You really can't find those microphones in good condition in the States anymore. Mm -hmm. The fact that they have one here in this mic locker that's in such good condition just speaks to the care that Audio-Technica has for the studio and their products. So go research, you guys will like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's go up to the fifth floor where I show you some old products of Audio-Technica. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. What's, what's the first thing we have here? Ah, uh, yeah, you just see here the, our flagship microphones, so, 50 series. Huh? Nice, yeah, what we saw a second ago. You can see here uh, clearly the, the four elements of the microphone unit. Eh? And you were, you were telling me a little bit earlier that about the yeah. karaoke microphones. Karaoke is big in Japan, right? Yes, it's the country where it comes from. And as a microphone company, it was also obvious to provide some microphones for karaoke. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So, a lot, so a lot of people when they're having fun, a little, little, little drinking, these are the microphones we're getting. Yes. <laughs> so that's why they are very robust. You can throw them around, no problem. Can you tell us a little bit about these headphones here? This is like uh, the SR9. That one is a portable listening, uh, high quality sound headphone. Nice. And uh, the ADX 2000X is uh, an open back headphone, mainly for home listening. So, so this is your home listening headphones and this is your train listening headphones. Yes, yes. Love yes. it, yeah. For those, for those of you that don't know, the trains are extremely popular here in Japan and it's, um, it's a main way to get from A to B. In America you have cars, but here it's a train system. And here we have the uh, flagship model of our open back headphone, the ADX 5000. Oh, I see, and it says Japan made on the side too. Yes. That's gorgeous. Okay, hey, let me show you the launch above the control. Let's right? do it. Oh, wow. So uh, here we are now above the control room and from here you can see uh, into the recording room. Huh? Oh nice. So yeah, you can just hang up here. Uh, the, the sight lines are, are so good here. Yeah, wow. really nice. And I also see, I think I see a, a, an album that Dave mixed over there. Uh, Hi Dave. <laughs> Hi Dave. <laughs> <laughs> are, are all these people that have used Audio Technica yes. products? Yes. That's so nice. Whoa. What's this? This uh, was built uh, when we opened the building here, oh, wow. the audio, uh, the Technica house, in 2001. And there is, into this bronze statue, is a 4033 uh, integrated. Nice. So, oh, yeah. so you, you have a, a yeah. you can actually plug it in and use this uh, mm -hmm. award. That's yeah. A, I love the fact that Audio Technica made an award that's actually a microphone. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> So here we have a little gallery of our old products. Our first product was actually a cartridge. The AT1, that was our Audio-Technica's first product. Wow. Audio-Technica was founded in 1962 and started with turntable products. And then where did it go after turntables? Headphones. Nice. So the first headphones was in 1974, AT700 series. The back pedal over there, I saw something that I've never, mm. I've never seen before and it might just be my age. Oh, they're called a sound burger. Port <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's a portable uh, record player. How does this guy work? Take off the tone arm. Mm -hmm. Take off this guy. Put in your Press record. right there and you're good. And you oh. play. That's amazing. Mm. And I see you also have an, ad an adapter so you can play the seven inch LPs. Yeah, you can. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. You would need some external speakers you have here ah. to output. Eh? 
And I see also to the right, we have some uh, DJ equipment and live house. Yes. This was before the days of, of a sync and a beat matching. You actually had to, uh, <laughs> you had to be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we have here? So, and for sure, uh, our first microphones as well. Huh? Oh, wow. The AT800 series. I think we have one more thing to see, right? Yes, uh, I want to show you some special place in here. I thought you'd take us. Yeah, Let's go. I show you. You guys have a little oasis up here. Yeah, this is a place where you know when we have customers and or invite some people here and just have a good time hanging out, drinking a little bit, eating a little bit. Oh my god! You know. See, like some traditional Japanese art. Oh my God, that's so nice, that's so nice. You were saying the founder or the president of Audio Technica is a huge art collector. Yeah, he loves art. So what's behind this door? Oh, there's also something scary, but uh, a nice room as well. Oh, wow. So some nice. traditional uh, masks. So we have to take the shoes off. Yep, in Japanese culture. Mm. Oh yeah, and God. this is a typical like uh, Japanese uh, dining room. This is incredible. So if Dave should ever come, we will uh, bring him up here. Oh, Dave, <laughs> Dave, Dave, will, Dave will sit right here. Yeah, yeah. He will, will sit up. right here. <laughs> and it'll, it'll be perfect. Yes. Wow. You in the can, middle of Tokyo, huh? You can just come here and forget you're in Japan. I don't want to leave. Good place to relax, huh? I don't want to leave. This is <laughs> incredible. And we're up on the eighth floor? Yeah, that's the eighth floor of the Technic House. David, I, have, well, I want to say thank you so much. No, thank for you for coming. To be here. No problem. Our viewers are going to be so thrilled to be able to see an inside look in the Technic yeah. House. And we're looking forward to next time coming to the factory. And I hope so. I hope so. We will, I promise. Yeah, I thank promise. you for watching. Yeah. So again, guys, this has been Technica House from here in Japan. Dave and Herb, back to you. Hope you enjoyed that. That's Chongor in Japan, Audio Technica, and all that they're doing. Good stuff. Dave, take us home. Wow, I was just sitting there watching that and uh, the video Chongor just did. And we really do live in a global economy and a global world when it comes to music. See you next week. Thank you.